So I asked Sean Croxton, hey Sean, you up for a live nutrition debate? My last person pulled out. Do you do live debates, bro? Absolutely not. To be honest, with your track record of consistent immaturity, I don't think anyone would ever take you up on the offer, Harley. No offense intended, keeping it real. So I, you can read that, I guess. So I thought, fair enough. I'm immature, I'm an asshole. How about these guys? They're not, they're mature, they're not assholes. Does Sean answer the question? No way. He just attacks the messenger. <laughs> So basically, we have Sean here is just trying to avoid the question. He's trying to character assassinate me, which is a good technique to do. So what I did is I've asked the question again, and I've kept my cool, so we'll see what happens. But yeah, these guys, man, Daniel Vitalis just pulled out, Sean Croxon's pulling out, all these paleo crew, man, flaky as, flaky as. So here we have Sean Croxton being asked about tendonitis. Person's got some tendonitis. And Sean Croxton's answer is bone broth. <laughs> drink some bone broth. Don't worry about your training or your sleep or anything. Just drink some bone broth. Now what's that saying? You didn't drop the ball. You never had to start with. Now let's hear Sean's opinion on juice. Fruit and vegetable juice. Let's hear Sean's opinion on juice. I am not a fan of juice. It is not healthy for you. I am not a fan of juice. It is not healthy for you. I am not a fan of juice. It is not healthy for you. I am not a fan of juice. It is not healthy for you. Oh, apple. What can I do with this apple? What can we do with the apple? Mmm, interesting. I don't know. How about we process it in a factory and put it in little pills and put it in little plastic containers and FedEx them to people's houses. Lightweight, expensive product. They get the antioxidants. They don't eat the fruit. Doesn't make any sense, but it makes a lot of dollars on ignorant newbies. Don't eat fruit, drink booze, and take antioxidants in little plastic pill bottles. Great. And then we have Sean Croxton. Sean Croxton, this is Sean here, he goes by the 80-20 rule, 80% 80 of it do it right and 20% do whatever, so Sean's enjoying his 80-20 uh, rule there. This is Sean's website, undergroundwellness.com, very popular forum, and Sean says only eat fruit if it's in season, <laughs> and when it's not in season, guess what's in season? My protandium, what is that? That's an antioxidant supplement. You know, so again, it says it's got more than oranges or wine. You know, so again, these people were saying, don't eat too much fruit because <laughs> it's got too much sugar in it. But hey, man, my supplements are always in season. Sean said you can't be a vegan because you won't get enough protein, you know, blah, blah, blah. And in actual fact, Sean's not even that muscly. I know vegan bodybuilders who have more muscle than Sean. So he sells meat. And he also sells protein powder, but uh, you know you can't get enough protein as a, a vegan. So eat meat and buy the protein powder. Interesting. So you're consuming tons of fruit sugar when you're drinking all of this juice. Thus, fruit juice is leading you to diabetes. So what's happening here? I had too much sugar. Uh, <coughs> I think you got diabetes. <coughs> Pathetic. <coughs> oh man, what I want. Want to hear the truth about plant-based diets, high carb, low fat? That's where it's at. Check out these books. Lock on down to Amazon or your local bookshop. Check them out.
completely different things. They work completely differently in the body. And until we realize that, we're just going to keep pointing the finger at fat. It's not the fat. It's the fructose. It's the sugar. A lot of our obesity problem is rooted in what I just talked about. And check out Dr. Lustig's video, Sugar the Bitter Truth. I'll Let's look at some proponents of some high carb, low fat, plant based diets. Okay, so we have Kenneth Williams, vegan bodybuilder, Richard Gambino, another fruity runner, author of Skinny Bitch, Rory Friedman. Now we have Doug Graham, the guy who has eaten more simple sugars than anyone on the planet. We have a six pack Sebastian, another high fructose eater. Chris Calafero. They consume a high amount of carbohydrates. Scott Spitz. Noah Hannibal, Australian heavyweight bench press champion, vegan for 17 years. Rich Roll. Now, Gary Taub says exercise makes you fat. I don't know about that. Robert Cheek, veganbodybuilding.com. Mac Danzig, UFC fighter. And we've got Freely. I'll let that photo explain itself. We've got Mike Arnstein, just a photo last weekend. He won the Vermont Ultra Marathon, 100 miler. Smashed it. Ruth Heindrich, long-time vegan triathlete. Alexander Dagarts, another crazy vegan carb bodybuilder. Another one of the boys from veganbodybuilding.com. Carl Lewis, coached by Dr. McDougall, another proponent of high-carb, low-fat, plant-based. Dave Zabriskie, loss of exercise, loss of carbs. He looks pretty thin. Scott Jurek, a 24-hour record holder, world's greatest ultramarathoner. Marcus Patrick, long-time vegan, fitness model. High-carb. Robert Cheek, goosing around, veganbodybuilding.com. Tim Van Orden, running raw, elite stair climber runner, masters champion. And here's yours truly from the other day. Check it out. And these jokers say, carbs make you fat, exercise makes you fat, eat more fat to lose fat. I just don't know about that. I don't know about these high fat, fat looking, out of shape people who are selling you fruit in a jar or fruit in a pill saying, don't eat fruit but buy my antioxidants. Don't eat fruit and when you binge just... I don't know, like maybe it's your genetics or something like that. Anything but a high carbohydrate, low fat, plant based lifestyle that's getting results for everyone around the world who follows that program. It's insane. But hey, don't listen to me. Listen to your intuition. Don't listen to hucksters. Listen to your intuition. What makes sense? Judge by results, not by theory. So, Sean, I hope you got your umbrella. Because it's raining cold, hard facts up here, brother.